you guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sale and sale you name it i love it to my catwalk welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey as you can see from the title there are a couple of run don't walk things i want to share with you not expensive but if you're interested in these things you can go and pick those things up that is gonna segue us into some things that i am leaving back in 2023 and it covers the gauntlet from fashion to business so we are going to jump right into this coming in from the dollar tree i am one of those people where i like the feeling of being warm and cozy i do not do winter weather well at all we are sitting in minus teen temperatures here like 16 14 during the day it's a cute little 21 22 23 that is not this girl when i come home I like ambiance. I'm a big fan of candles because to me, candles give a low light glow that just makes you want to chill out. This candle, the lavender candle in romantic Mediterranean style. If you would like to screenshot it, it is right here. The perfect little size cube. It's just clear, plain glass. Works in any type of an aesthetic. There's so many things that you can do with this. For $1.25, this smells amazing. It is burning in the background. I absolutely love this. If you see this, run, don't walk, get this. Next up, this candle that I picked up from Ikea. Ikea had a huge sale. They had these candles and it is just a clean uh, linen outdoor scented candle. I did pick up two of these. I am going to hold this up so that you can see it. If you get a chance to go to Ikea, run, don't walk and pick it up for 99 cent. You cannot go wrong. Now, you guys, I am not the type of person who likes a whole lot of knickknacks around the house, but they have to be cute. It has to have a little something different if I am going to purchase it. That leads me to this little cutie. You guys. I was in the Dollar Tree and I saw this randomly just in one of the bins as I was going up and down the aisle. I thought this was so cute. The thing that got me with this was when I picked it up is light. And I don't know if you can see this. I put this by my kitchen sink and I use this one. I just need a teeny, teeny bit of light to see what I'm doing at the kitchen sink. And I don't want all the overhead lights and all the under lighting and all that stuff on. She is so adorable. She just sit perched at the edge of the kitchen sink. It's as if the sink is her lake. And I absolutely love this. This is It's so cute. Every time I look at it, I am just like, oh, this is adorable. If you see this in the dollar store and you see there's a battery, open the cover and if you need to replace it, you can. Pick this up. It works perfectly in the kitchen or wherever you decide you want to put it. This is a segue because you guys know I also like going to Burlington, what was previously Burlington Coat Factory. I like to go in their section where it is for hair or skin. And I always am looking for something different to use in my hair. You go to Burlington and you come across this catwalk TG hairspray called Work It. If you want a hairspray that is light to touch hair moves body everything i'm gonna put it here so you can screenshot it if you don't pick this up this smells so good when i sprayed this it this almost smells like a fragrance i kid you not if you come across this in your travels maybe in burlington maybe someplace else like marshall's or, or perhaps even maybe all time this works amazing the next two things that i want to show you i picked up from Forever 21. Forever 21 had a huge sale and it was essentially buy one, get one free. You found it. If it was more expensive, that's what you ended up paying and your second item was free. We like that. Okay. I am a big fan of sneakers. I came across these, how simplistic they are. 
I am obsessed with the chunkiness platform from the soles. They are giving me a little bit of low top night, a little bit of Jill Sanders simplicity. These caught my eyes so much because it was the white, it was the gray mixed together. Simple sneakers are kind of a staple in the wardrobe, whether they're Stan Smiths, whether they're Celine, you, you get it. These were all of $15, but I ended up getting these as the free item because I want to show you, and I'll just hold these up in case you want a screenshot and you want to see if you can find these in Forever 21, if you'd like to do that. But these are the sneakers that I got. But the thing that I really wanted is going to lead us into our discussion. Let me show you these. I am a big fan of bootcut jeans, of jeans that have front zippers or zippers at the back. I just like that look. I ended up getting these jeans because it's the zippers for me. These are the bottoms, they just flare out. Now, why I ended up getting these, we have notes. Last year, I decided that I was going to downsize handbags, furniture, a couple other things. I don't think I've ever had a discussion with you guys about things I'm leaving behind from the prior year and not carrying into the new year. So I have been steadily clearing house. But that leads me to five things that I have decided I am going to be leaving behind at 2023 and moving forward 2024 and beyond. First thing on the list, not being able to let go. Now, that covers a whole lot. We all can get up in our head about holding on to things that we think we may. Oh, I think I might. I think I'm going to do this. Or I think I might work on this. Or I think I might. if I am not going to do it, if I am not going to use it, if I am not going to wear it, if I am not going to be about it, it is time to let it go. Acknowledge that there are sometimes things that are a part of your life that you do not need. I'm not talking about people. Let's just make that clear. I am talking about the tangible things that we get bogged down with or we decide we want to hold on to because it may come a time when. And it is best I have found for myself to be able to look at things and to intelligently make the decision to say enough. It is time to let it go. The second thing, unnecessary talk. Those discussions and dialogues that you have before you even get to the point of what it is that you're trying to say, I am discovering as I get older, it is better to be direct. I'm not saying rude. I'm not saying nasty. And I'm not saying difficult. Being targeted and direct in the concerns, issues that needs to be addressed, get to the point. The third thing that I am leaving behind off of our list wardrobe insecurities this is something that i grapple with okay i have a black turtleneck but i don't have a cashmere black turtleneck i need this i think i need this i think i might be short here what if this doesn't work oh you've got you know five different pairs of shoes that are in the same color but there's a little bit of a aesthetic change slightly between one and pair four or pair two and pair three no, wardrobe insecurities are not something that I want to be dragging around. Number four, bag chasing. Bag chasing, people chase money bags, people chase handbags. I am talking about handbags. We all know 2024 has come in with a plethora of selections. Bags are big bus driver for me. I am triggered by bags. I like handbags but I am not chasing a handbag. Yes, do I have some things that I think about from the past? Absolutely, that I would like? Sure I do. But if they come up and they're favorable and they make sense to purchase, then absolutely I would get them. But am I gonna obsess over the fact that I don't? Do I need to tab it out? Do I need to post it up? on a board? Do I need to put it down on a piece of paper and say, I wish I would? No, we are not doing that. We are not chasing any bag. If it wants us, it will find us. Whether it is a handbag, whether it is a money bag, it will find us. Last thing is the 
hustle game. A hustle mentality. When it comes down to what it is you're passionate about, it's not a hustle. If you really like what it is you are into, your business, your whatever it may be, it's a passion. Anything you're passionate about, you're going to commit to and be consistent with. I call it a healthy passion about something that I really love, that I want to focus on and do what? Devote my time to. That's exactly what it is. It's not a hustle. It's not a game. It's not a crapshoot. That word hustle and the hustle get no, no longer a part of my vocabulary and that's something moving forward. We are leaving that behind and we're going to focus on our passion and stay consistent and continue to do what we do best and what we love and that will move us down the path that we want to go down. The last thing that I wanna say to sum this all up, I want to be able to give you guys what I think are healthy doses of pieces of my life. I've been speaking about this because I think it's important to do, whether it be growth of a business, the growth of a wardrobe, growth of whatever it is. I love sharing things with you guys because if there's something that people are interested in, why not share it? I like that. I don't think it's any fun if it's always about, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. But there's nothing that's coming back saying, hey, you know, you can find it here. Or if you're not sure about this when you do your business, you know, ask a question about it. Moving forward, sharing more real-time sit-down talks about things that you guys may have on your mind. You can bring up a topic. You can ask questions. You can do those things and if it's comfortable and I'm able to share those things with you, I will do that. Let me know in the comments below about the random walk things that I shared with you and also the five things that I will be leaving behind in 2023. What are some things you have decided you are going to leave behind, not just in 2023, but just simply moving forward. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark. I have new listings. We'll go over to my closet and check those out. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. Feel free to DM me there if you see anything that you are interested in or you can head on over to IG. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to direct message me there as well if there's anything you see in my Poshmark closet that you like. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Please stay safe, stay warm. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.